Hello. Uh, today we will be make um, the uh, Lego mini fig uh, little mermaid Ariel, and we using our silicone um, uh, shape for that. Once we bake it and cooled, we trim it all sides and we trim it top as well to make sure it uh, stays flat. After this, what we done it, I saw uh, from uh, um, I just bought it. Uh, uh, one uh, small uh, already baked uh, sponge from supermarket and I cut this one for here just like that and this one is we will what we do here is we need it little mermaid tail so we'll cut it this and with a sharp knot, just get rid of all these little bits, here we are, and this is, will be right here, our flippers. So what we do now is, we have our uh, buttercream, we ice it all uh, our minifig and we attach with buttercream here and our uh, tail. Now we, we finish uh, apply butter uh, cream as you can see we attach uh, our hair and we attach uh, as well our uh, tail. So once it's all attached and nice, uh, I left a little piece extra of butter cream here for, because we wanted to form it nose uh, on the face after. So what we do uh, now is we're taking our, uh, it's just a box of uh, uh, ready to roll uh, icing from the supermarket you can find anywhere uh, just a little, little bit on your working surface once it's nice and uh, ready to kind of sort of soft soften up a little bit put a little bit uh, icing sugar sprinkle and uh, uh, basically roll it to about that size and transfer your uh, icing sugar short way which is from here to this way don't do uh, from a tail because this is long way and your icing sugar could be uh, a tear torn and uh, what we do now is that it's ready now and uh, here we are a little bit on the and we started rolling. Turn on uh, frequently because it will stick. I finish rolling now. So uh, when I finish, I took my uh, icing sugar and I slide it on top of our cake. So now is we put icing sugar on our hands and. From top, we try to work out on our nose way we want it here and up here carefully with our tail. Bring up right to. Now our hands and just to form it, form it on your head and hair where you want it and have somewhere here. So we just want it for a little tone, it on your nose, just something like that. So once it's done, what we do is Now 
my work and what is in a little bit short. But that's okay. Once it's time to remove it one way first. Make sure you're not Sharp knife. And finish up all trim excess. Okay. This is how it looks like our meal might once we finish all our uh, trimming and everything. So what we are we done is leave a tiny bit for nose and tiny bit where we can do our hair. So what do we do next is with a tooth pick just uh, point it yourself where is you want to leave a place for show this here and this is basically our tail and just a tiny bit market eyes make sure we're not going to paint it so next is what I done it <coughs> I mix a uh, white paint uh, just a normal white uh, food coloring food coloring and tiny bit tiny bit of uh, the brown to uh, actually get this uh, um, lovely uh, skin texture see it's be just look like it's basically skin so what you do here is carefully go right around areas where you want to be paint by uh, this uh, skin color so what we do is we just go in just about middle somewhere here and something with face once we finish applying um, our skin uh, color basically what we have to do is next we will go for tail this is green tail so what we do is we're taking a green liquid paint and we're applying on top of our tail just like that just like we would paint anything else see with um, liquid paint um, you will find it it's very bright and uh, as well as uh, it has to be a really good painter to apply this um, okay once we finish applying our green paint what we do is we take a little bit of beautiful sprinkle and while it's wet we apply it on top of a tail just like that because we want our movement will be make sure it's be very very beautiful here we are now next is what we do we will apply the uh, We will apply this is uh, our shelves. Let's have a look. We have it purple. brushes no, that's good we better get some uh, some some other brush uh, that's better what we do is just apply just like that I don't have liquid purple so I, I using 
um, gel I'm a very color oh, because I just don't have it simply liquid purple I could make it but uh, because I have it already this one that's why I didn't really worry Once we done that, we want it also a little bit outline, just to dip it in, and just like that, carefully outline it. Nice and symmetrical. to do is have some few lines up here just like that <coughs> now I want to take a little bit wide and just turn it pointed here sort of mix it together make a beautiful pattern just a little bit of white make it look like a real shell once we finish that we put sprinkles on top of uh, we put sprinkles on top of uh, our shell Shell. Yep. That's right. Let's have a look. Here we go. Fill up all the little gaps everywhere. And put sprinkles after. Okay. We'll put some sprinkles uh, on top of our shell. And uh, so as you can see, it's very nice and shiny. Now let's have a look. What we do next is we take a black gel food coloring and carefully making our eyes Just don't take too much on it. Okay. Once we finish this one, we can put a little bit of brown as well. Just a little bit. Try to do symmetrical, okay. just like that. And we do with work one as well. Eyelashes. That way. Now what we do next is um, take a little tiny brush and go with a blue uh, gel food coloring. We just apply our eyes. Don't take much in one go, otherwise it's hard to work with, with a bigger one. Mm. 
이거 보존 의미도 뭐해? 귀여워요. 네, next one. 사이 o 오브 with t h e o k a y Now we go for book. In the middle. <coughs> And after we put little white dot. Want a little bit, make it more even with uh, our blue. Just a little. Sort of a dot here and here. Yeah, that's nice. Now, next one we can do is we can paint mouth with a red food jewel color. What we do is dip it in, and we can try and make some clips. Here we go. After we finish everything, as you can see, eyes and mouth done very well. So what to do next is take a liquid red coloring and we can apply on our hair. It goes everywhere around our hair, just everywhere around. Of it, where you wanted your hair be lying around your face, and continue that way. So we finish all our touches, and that's our little new mold. I think we'll make eyes a little bit too big, but that's okay, it's beautiful and shiny, and uh, um, yeah. I will apply a liquid color for here. I wasn't sure how far to really go, so it's kind of like a line on our shoulders. Well, thank you very much for watching and being with me. Until next time. Bye bye.